Hello everyone. So now we are going to talk about the another application, next application of Gosslow, which is the easiest application I suppose. That is electric field due to a charged shell. You can see that. So I consider here one shell. You can see. So in in our syllabus it is mentioned inside and outside. We'll be doing both. We'll be doing the surface as well. Very simple. Very simple. So here is a shell whose radius is capital R. and a small r is the radius outside okay so we are going to do the electric field outside first then surface then inside so let's get ready for outside okay so now you can see that in outside i consider there is a distance like r small r from this and i created i i did i made one gaussian surface over there so many students asked me like uh, sir how do we how do we exactly get the gaussian surface so that is one thing is that the symmetry you have to take care second that is uh, you have to be like little careful about like whether whether if we use this gaussian surface the entire charged the charge distribution would be covered or not so that is also another thing okay symmetry and this thing and very importantly one thing you can remember gauss already gave us all the gaussian surfaces for our purposes i mean whatever purpose we are doing whatever applications we are doing gauss already gave us like you follow this you follow this like that okay so you don't need to take that much uh, i mean pressure regarding gauss law because gauss helped us a lot okay so now you are considering here sphere of course it is a sphere so now i'll be doing for outside and outside one you can see that yeah you can see that here radius is r i am using my typical idea so what is that i consider here a small area and what is the direction of area da direction is this what about the electric field electric field also same direction correct electric field is also same direction so what is the angle between them angle between them is 0 degree so integral e dot da phi e is equal to integral e dot da that is equal to e into integral da why since since theta is equal to 0 degree okay so that is the first one how much is integral da 4 pi r square correct so is equal to e into 4 pi into small r square since it is outside radius is smaller i already gave it is so now my question is can you can you compare this with our can you equate this with our gauss law yes yes so e into 4 pi r square is equal to what q enclosed divided by epsilon not so then what is e e is equal to q divided by 4 pi r square into epsilon not when you see like this you will be thinking that it is a different equation but you remember this is 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q by r square okay so one more thing is that you can understand one thing what is q look at this what is q upon i'd be writing with the y what is q upon 4 pi r square you can consider it as sigma correct because charge by area is what is sigma so now my question is now my question is you can see this is sigma if i how how can i convert this this in terms of sigma so then what i'm doing is e is equal to 1 by 4 pi capital r square into q into capital r square divided by small r square right so i multiplied with a capital r square and i divided with capital r square no problem no problem no harm so now you look at this this is equal to q divided by 4 pi r square that is sigma r square divided by r square easy the same i same idea okay i forgot the epsilon not okay you you don't don't want to forget it so i was actually testing you okay whether you are listening or not so this is what is every time teachers say says when they make a mistake so they never accept their mistake like including me okay so sigma r square divided by epsilon not r square so i'm just kidding so then 
now we are going to um, discuss what about on the surface on the surface means here correct so easily we can do it we don't need to like elaborate it again no so what is that second one surface on the surface it is very easy how much is that integral e dot da e da again is equal to q divided by epsilon naught but here e into 4 pi capital R square is equal to q by epsilon naught so now you can see that e is equal to how much is that q divided by 4 pi r square into epsilon naught e is equal to sigma by epsilon naught simple simple done from there it itself is done so that is also easy now the final one the third one this is what important in my perspective because this is where the whoever is making the questions they will they will just they'll be like okay let me ask this so that it would be there in, in their mind inside what about inside you can see that inside there is no charge distribution right there is no charge inside so you can see that here i am considering inside okay and let's say it it has a radius small r and the original radius or or the real radius of the sphere is capital r and if you consider a gaussian surface inside the net charge enclosed is equal to zero of course where is it where are the charges charges are here so you always remember that it is here so now i can i can say so e will be equal to how much no doubt zero why because flux is zero so net electric flux is zero because q enclosed is equal to zero so electric field is zero that's it okay so this is the idea we use inside the sphere and electric field inside a hollow spherical shell or a hollow shell hollow sphere that's equal to zero all right i hope you understood this idea very simple and uh, let's discuss the graph as well look at this the graph would be like this so here in, in this is inside actually this is inside what about this outside where is the maximum value maximum value at the surface how much is that q divided by yeah or a sigma by epsilon zero okay so this is the idea here it, you can see that e is inversely proportional to r square here it's zero so it is very easy okay so this is the electric field due to a charged shell i hope you understood and uh, if you have any doubt please ask thank you